Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I think I have a pretty quick one. It is a little Sephora haul that I did during the VIB sale. I couldn't help myself. I had to go in and pick out a couple of things and I couldn't decide what I wanted so I picked up a treat for me and I picked up a treat for my daughter, the mother of my four beautiful grandchildren who I did not get to see on Mother's Day so I wanted to have a little something for her that I knew she would enjoy. So let's get into this Sephora box and see what I've got. This is going to be a pretty quick video. I did not pick up a lot of stuff. I feel like I was the pillar of strength during that sale. There were so many things that I wanted, but I just, with all of the boxes we have coming in, and I think the reality of being stuck in the house, I mean, really, the only time in the last two months where I've put on a full face of makeup is when I've come on here to talk to you guys. So I think the reality of that was like, do you really need more lippies? Do you really need more palettes? Now, granted, I'm not saying that there isn't going to be regret, but I felt like I bore up strong under the pressure of buying on sale. So the first thing I picked up, I thought was very useful. And it's just simple. The Sephora Hair Hold-Its. And these are supposedly the kind of clip that you can put in your hair when you do your makeup or that kind of thing. Like if I came on here to do a get ready with me, that when you take them out, they supposedly will not leave dents in your hair. So you just clip it back to do your little thing. And then when you take it out, it supposedly will not leave a dent in it. We'll see. But I definitely thought it was worth trying. So it's really cute. I have two cute little pink ones and two little white ones and they say Sephora. So they'll be fun to have around. Also, just like any other time you place a Sephora order, you get to pick a couple of samples now. You used to get three, now you get two. I chose the Milk Hydro Grip Primer for my daughter to try because I have one of these and I really like it and I thought she might like to try it. And for me, I chose the Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Foundation because I decided that this one right here might actually work with my skin. I think it might work. We'll see. Next is the little gift that I picked up for my daughter. She said that she needed a new cleanser and we couldn't decide what would be the best one for her to try. And I know that she has dry skin and she has lately been trying the La Mer moisturizer. So I thought it only seemed fair that she had the La Mer cleanser. Since this is so nice and wrapped in plastic, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that for her. But this is the La Mer, the cleansing foam. And her skin isn't quite as sensitive as mine, but it does tend to be sensitive. So I thought since the moisturizer works for her, it would be fun to try the cleanser. So we'll see what she thinks about that and I'll let you guys know. Next I have, I just picked this little Sephora lippy up. I know, I just said I don't need new lippies, but it was called Outrageous Volume Plump Effect. And it's just a cute little, see how it looks quilted? I just thought that it was so cute and plumping effect is something that I need. I have such thin lips, which short of overlining them, which does not look great on me, it's just really hard for me to look like I have any amount of lips. So I thought a plumper would be a good thing. Now I have these lips on now. So, oh look, it's a cute little, it's just a little doe foot. All right, let's just go ahead and put it on over my lips. So we can't really tell that it's this nice pink color because it's going on over my darker lips. But I wanted to kind of see what it tastes like and, ooh, so it's, it is minty and ooh, there's some tingle. Excellent. I just thought on sale this would be super fun to try. The only lippy I got, and I got no palettes. I only have two things left, and I bought them both under peer pressure from my girl Jeannie over at Get This Glowing. Really, no peer pressure, but she talked about them, and I thought, that's something that I definitely need to try. And the first is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I am almost out of my MAC paint pot, or as I like to say, my painterly paint pot, but it's not painterly, it's soft ochre. I have been using it for, I wanna say almost a year. It lasts so long. I just bounce, I have a t one of the that sized, one of the smaller beauty puffs, and I just bounce the bottom butt end of it in there and pounce on my eyes just to give, and I'm telling you, it's lasted almost a year. And when I wanted to try something new, Jeannie had talked about how much she liked this. And I saw it in a mini and I just thought it would be the perfect way to try it. So it's just a little tube top. Let's put a little on and see what we think. Ooh. And that is what it looks like. It has just a little bit of a very, very light tint to it. Kind of matches my skin tone really well. When I start blending it out, that's what this is going to be perfection. This feels so good and it'll give some cover to 
Oh, today I used that, you know that IBY palette that I got in my box and it had that cute green color in it? I thought I would play with that today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I thought it was kind of fun. But this will cover up, as you get older, you get a little bit of dark veining on your eyelids and that's why I like a color. This is perfection. It feels so good. It feels a little silicone-y, but not over silicone-y. It is just perfect. I knew Jeannie wouldn't steer me wrong. And because of that, I also went with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I have the regular Tatcha Silk Canvas, and I like it. I don't use it all over my face. I use my Touch and Soul No Problem all over my face, and I use the Silk Canvas in my marionette lines because I feel like it gives me just a little extra cover to, this is where I'm tending to wrinkle first. It's very unpleasant. I'm not enjoying it at all. <laughs> but I thought this for all over my face this would be fun to try. So this is what, oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. This is what it looks like on the inside. And let's open this up and see what its texture is. All right, so it just, the lid just pops off and then you have a pump. We'll put it on the other side of that eye primer. And I just squirt it out just a little bit in a line. And let's see what it feels like. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it smells nice. It it does have a scent though, I will tell you. It smells, it smells almost exactly like the silk canvas in the pan. It's almost the exact same smell. I like that a lot. And oh, wow, it is definitely blurring. I don't know if I can get that so you guys can see it. I put it here and this is where it is not. And I don't know, I'm gonna do this just in case. I can get it to where you guys can see. It has absolutely blurred the pores on the back of my hand where I put that. And the other person that is the reason that I purchased this is Jessica over on Living Proof. We were talking one day about what we thought we were going to get from the Sephora sale and she reminded me about this and what Jeannie had said about it. So they're both influencers because I had to have it. That's it. I think I was the absolute pillar of strength. I have the nice La Mer for a Mother's Day present for my daughter. I have this nice lippy, which I think looks fantastic and it feels really nice. It's got that nice minty, slightly plumping feel, but there's no burn in it at all. Are my lips plump yet? I don't think so. I have the nice Tatcha Liquid Canvas Primer, which is gorgeous. This lovely Anastasia Eye Primer. And then these cute little barrettes, which are gonna hold my hair up while not denting it. I'm counting real heavy on that. So let me know below, did you shop in the Sephora VIB event? If you did, let me know what you got, especially if you tried something new and you're loving it. Because I think that's how we all help each other out. I think we try all of these new things and we're like, yes I did, or no I didn't love it, and this is why. Kind of like I can tell you guys, I already have this silk canvas in a pan, but I think it's too thick for all over your face. It does not work for me all over my face, but in deeper lines, I think it works great. Or the MAC Paint Pot, love it. Love it in soft ochre, but I'm also liking this. Granted, I haven't put it on my eyes yet and I haven't given it a full day's wear test, but the back of my hand feels smooth and great and I can't wait to try it. Okay guys, thank you again for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out and I'll see you really soon. Take care guys.